All right. So this question says two identical particles um, of some mass approach each other at equal speed. Okay, it's using letter beta. I like it. That's probably why I wrote it that way. Because uh, the, these are the symbols that we use. Uh, beta is the basically speed of anything in the unit of speed of light. And this definition is useful because if I write gamma in terms of beta, it's relatively succinct. 1 over square root of 1 minus beta squared. So, um, Colliding uh, inelastically, so after collision, there will become some blob of uh, mass m. Yeah, mass m rest. Okay. It asks, what is the mass m of the new particle in terms of m and beta? And you know the non-relativistic answer would have been 2m. Now here, that's not the case because it's relativistic. So I guess the place I would start from is just um, writing down energy momentum four vector for this situation. So um, I have a before collision and after. And by energy momentum four vector, I really mean uh, a column vector of uh, where the zeroth element or the first element is energy over C. And the next three elements are the three spatial components of momentum. This is the energy momentum four vector introduced that in the lecture and I'm going to be using it. So before collision, I have uh, two uh, energy momentum four vectors, one for particle one and one for particle two. So particle one, um, so I will write the energy in terms of gamma. So these are the formulas you should know, could have memorized. Uh, relativistic momentum is given by gamma mv, or in terms of the symbols I'm using, gamma m beta c. And relativistic energy is given by gamma mc squared. And depending on question problem setting, sometimes this uh, momentum energy relationship that says e over c squared uh, minus p squared is equal to mc squared. This might be useful sometimes. Probably not this question, we'll see. So, um, energy momentum four vector of particle one would look like uh, its energy, that's uh, gamma mc squared divided by c. So gamma mc, and I'll work out later what gamma looks like for the given beta. And then uh, let me just to write down only the x component. So I'll write down the energy over, C, or uh, let me just switch back and forth. I'll write down all the momentum components. So I'll assume this is my x axis. So it's uh, x component of momentum will be gamma and beta C, and then zeros for y and z component. And I have particle two that has energy gamma mc squared divided by c. And then uh, momentum, it's going in the negative x direction, so minus gamma and beta c, and then 0 over 0. So uh, when you add them, you should do, uh, um, so it, it's just the vectors. So I can just add them as I see them. And um, when you get a single particle that way, that is going to represent energy momentum of that single particle. For the energy component, I get two gamma mc, and momentum uh, cancels out, zero, zero, zero. And this is where I give an interpretation to the quantity that I see here. So this already represents the particle at rest. So I can interpret this quantity here as the rest energy, the rest energy, or rest energy divided by C which is MC, or sorry, capital MC. And kind of matching up the terms, I see that this quantity must be my capital M. So, uh, so you know, 2M is actually pretty close. I just have to remember to multiply it by gamma. Uh, gamma coming from here, so it would be 2M divided by square root of 1 minus beta squared. 
yeah, and I'll enter it after. Got How it. much kinetic energy was transformed into other forms of energy? Uh, give your answer in terms of, oh, so um, the way I would look at it is, so in this uh, before collision, if our, we are looking at the total energy, which would be two gamma mc squared, um, that could have been thought of as some of the rest energy, 2mc squared or for the two particles, plus the kinetic energy. And so this kinetic energy, all of it, uh, got uh, transformed, uh, got became part of this. So solving this expression for kinetic energy, I get um, kinetic energy that was there before is, uh, 2 gamma mc squared minus 2 mc squared. Yeah, so the um, kind of the difference between the two um, rest energies. So this factoring out some things that factor out, it'll be 2 mc squared, 1 over square root of 1 minus beta squared minus 1. And there's no energy lost. That's kind of the um, deal in special relativity that energy is always conserved. Uh, it, you never have to ask the question, is energy lost? No, it, it, energy is always conserved once you learn to include, uh, once you learn to include um, the, the, uh, the rest energy. <laughs> uh, two times m times c squared. Uh, one over square root of one minus. By the way, um, so I'm using the shortcuts, keyboard the shortcut because I'm familiar with that. If not, you can use this palette. The palettes are also nice because it tells you what the variables are. Um, yeah, yeah, I tend to use those in a bunch of, a lot of other classes. I teach yeah. people when I'm tutoring them too, it's like, if those are not available variables, they're probably not gonna be in your answer. So that's a little clue <laughs> that will help you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of classes are using um, BioPenMath. Yeah, using BioPenMath. All right. No, let's see if I got anything wrong. All right. Yeah. So those are the answers.